Welcome to the Stylist Squad. We are back with another video. In a previous video, we did show you that what are different types of perfumes that one should have, uh, when do you buy them and how do you choose perfumes for your body chemistry type. In today's video, we are going to talk to you about five different hacks to ensure you have your perfume lasting really long. So let's get started. Now you've bought your favorite perfume and you're often wondering that how is that you can ensure that the fragrance of that perfume lasts really long. So one of the first things that you have to ensure when you buy a perfume and you start spraying it is where you are spraying it. So tip number one, always spray on your pulse points. Now what are pulse points? We will spend some more time on that. Pulse points are areas around your neck, your shoulders, your forearms, your elbows and also your wrists. It could be areas behind your knees and your ankles as well. Now these are called pulse points because here the skin is really thin so that the blood flow is really close to the skin and these are warm areas of your body. So if you're going to spray perfume right at your pulse points, you will have really a long lasting stay of your perfume fragrance which you are going to experience. So tip number one is to always spray a perfume on your pulse points only. Tip number two, it's important that the area where you are going to spray your perfume remains moisturized because perfume fragrances last really long on a moisturized skin and not dry skin. So what you could do here is the moment you're about to spray a perfume, ensure you use a nice simple moisturizer and moisturize the area around where you would want to spray or simply just use a Vaseline as well, which is easily available and less expensive. Uh, perfume fragrances last really long on a moisturized skin only. So irrespective when you're spraying it, ensure the area around that skin is thoroughly hydrated and moisturized. The third tip could be to not mix too many base notes together. Now you would be using a perfumed moisturizer, which is fine, but it is also important to have a moisturizer matching with the same base note of your perfume. Base notes could be any of the aquatic fragrances that you like, or even the woody, musky or fruity flavors as well of perfumes. So ensure that you don't mix up too many fragrances together when, you, when you're pa pairing it up with a moisturizer or two perfumes together as well. You would not want to mix too many fragrances together. Now the best time to spray your perfume is immediately after a shower. Now if you've taken a warm shower and you've the moment you're out, most of your pores around your body are open, which means that's the perfect timing for you to spray your favorite perfume. Um, the other thing or a myth that I've often heard people talk about is that they spray the perfume on their hair directly. Now remember, the only thing I would recommend here is use a nice hairbrush, spray your perfume on your hairbrush, let the fragrance settle down. What it does is it takes off the alcohol, the alcohol gets evaporated and then you can go ahead and comb your hair so that the fragrances get locked in your hair and the fragrance is long lasting. Spraying your perfume directly on your hair would damage your hair and leave it dry as well. The next tip that I want to leave you with is the moment you spray your perfume, typically around your wrist region, do not start rubbing it. Rather, you can just tap dry or leave it the way it is because rubbing your wrist would damage the initial notes of the perfume. And also remember that not spray your perfumes on your clothes directly. Firstly, it damages your clothes, it leaves a stain on your clothes. 
um, and also remember that it will not let your fragrance last long so the best place to actually spray is on your body and not on your clothes finally just remember that more concentrated the fragrance of the perfume is the lesser you will need to spray and the longer it stays lesser concentration of perfumes you may have to spray it every few hours and also maybe more sprays as well so remember the concentration of the sprays that you're spraying and do not spray too much or too less as well remember to store your perfumes in a cool and a dark place and not at a warm place like your bathroom or your kitchen area that will damage your perfume and definitely not under direct sunlight leaving you with some of our personal favorites that we would definitely recommend if you are looking to buy a perfume this weekend i hope you enjoy this If there are any other hacks that works best for you and has really worked well, would request you to please drop in in our comment section. But if you've liked this video, don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to our channel at the Stylish Squad and also follow us on our Instagram. Ooh.